Hello everyone and welcome back today. Um, today we're here to learn about the Love God for Physical Experience. And we're going to start with a song and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So let's see what's our song. The song that we're starting today is called Strong Tower. Now let me get in the mood to play a song.
Thank you so much for joining us today. And please, if you missed the part where I said make sure to like, share, and subscribe, make sure you do that stuff and sharing is very important because imagine someone scrolling through the YouTube. I mean, imagine someone scrolling through the Facebook and they're like, ooh, what's this? How much share this? Hmm, click. To hear it, they're like, ooh, I wonder where I can find a church like this and they look at churches like that nearby them, they find them and then boop. We help them to be a holy bit. Jesus name. Now we're gonna start off with a review today. Now I know I've been talking about the popular book. The popular Christian book called The Five Love Languages, but it's a pretty important book. It's really important to know about love, especially through God. And the idea behind this book is to explain love in five main ways. Gift giving, acts of service, physical touch, words of affection, and quality time. Today we will be talking about Loving God's physical touch. So what we've been doing lately is we've been going by this Five Love Language book. And we've already talked about gift giving, acts of service. Now we are to physical touch. So physical touch. We are into that now. Um. God, loving God through physical touch. It may seem odd to think about loving God through physical touch, like, how? After all, you can't hug God or shake his hand or even see him. So, you'll be like, in your hand, you're probably seeing there in your hand right now, like, how do I hug or shake a hand or give physical touch to someone I can't see, am I right? But there are physical expressions you can make to show your love toward God, such as clapping, like when you're listening to a good song, you clap, or you just clap during service, or you just, when you pray, you clap because it's such a good prayer when you Prayer is like a conversation with God. You shouldn't just be going all and like telling God about how good he is. I mean, you should tell God how good he is. Um, but you shouldn't go all telling him about yourself and everything. But you should let him talk to you. It should be. So like imagine when you're praying to God. Imagine it being like a conversation with your best friend. It's a good way to imagine what you're doing when you're praying. Um. You can, but the, so we're talking about some ways you can express God to him and stuff, such as clapping or lifting up your hands. So like when you're praying, you lift up your hands and you're, you're saying, I surrender to you, God. To praise him. Um, icebreaker, are you hungry or do you Barely your personal space, shake two people's hands if you are hung, uh, hungry, hunger. High five two people if you are your hands off. So I'll give you five seconds to that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, now we're going to get into praise. Proverbs, Proverbs, Psalms 
9.56 says, O come, let us worship him and bow down. Let us kneel before him, the Lord, our maker. So today we are talking about loving God through physical expression. Different people Different people feel more comfortable worshiping God through different forms of physical expression. Kneeling, so when you pray, you kneel down on your knees. Or bowing down is one way we can physically show God how we feel about Him. That He is high above all and we are humble in His presence. Let's take some time to kneel at our chairs and bow. Okay, so right now, I'd like you, if you can, to pray with me. Okay, so I'd like you, if you can, to pray Go to your chair or your bed or whatever you want. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful day and for creating me. I've been on a wonderful day. I pray that you show me what I need to go and touch me by your hand. Thank you for the prayer for us. Thank you for the share prayer with Christ. You do know what we need to do for us. Help them through a hard time. Help us to learn. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I hope you join me in that. Because I'd like you to do that. Try your best to do that daily. And, um, so, now I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to read you from my book. I won't tell you a story today, so I'd like you to listen in for the story. Jesus was eating at a peasant's house at a history of religious Jews. During his visit, a woman from the city came in. This wasn't just any woman. She had a baby. Recently, she was a sinner. The woman brought a gift from for Jesus. Now, some box, a box full of special food that was worth a lot of money. She came to where Jesus sat, kneeled down, behold him, and began weeping and washing his feet. In these days, it was consumed for a guest to have his or her feet washed as they entered the house, walking all of the dust and locked of good shoes. Their feet were filthy. It was a sign of honor and respect to wash the feet of their of your guests. Most likely, it would be done by a servant, but this visit was different. A woman from the city, a sinner, came and expressed as she neared her tears, dropped down on his feet, and she used her long hair to wipe them away. Then she pondered the, over his feet, washing them. The prison, a man named Simon, found the woman's behavior interesting. He thought to himself, surely. If Jesus were a true prophet, he would know what kind of woman was touching his feet, and he would stop her. Jesus knew Simon's thoughts. It was the perfect time to teach Simon a lesson. Simon, I have something to say to you, Jesus said. I'm listening, Master. There were two men who owned the same men money. One owed him a lot, and the other owed him a little. They both asked the man to forgive him of the debt, and he did. Which one do you think was the most grateful for forgiveness? The man who was forgiven of the most. That is, that's how it is with this woman. You didn't even wash my feet, but this woman, since the moment she arrived, has not consumed to kiss my feet. You didn't anoint my head, but this woman has anointed my feet with expensive oil. 
these who are forgiven much love. Much love, much. And that was in Luke 7, 36 through 50. And if you have any extra time afterwards, please read that. Now we're going to go into present. Some people feel so excited about their love for God, they can't contain their physical expression. They dance and shout for joy. Other people are very commutative about their love for God. They are in awe of his presence of God. And they kneel and worship and cry or bow their heads. No matter how a person chooses to physically express their love to God, there's always a way. We can physically express our only love for God in many ways. Ways that can that come naturally to our advantage. Person, think about your physical posture as it reflects your inner spirit. Person, your body language when you pray, and the way you physically direct your worship. Now we're gonna listen to a song, and I'm gonna be standing up while I sing this song to you, but. I'd like you to please bow your heads down as you pray. Okay? Now this song we're going to sing next is a very important song because it talks about how Jesus never lost a battle and he never will, because Jesus will never lose a battle. Now let's listen to this very important song and focus on the words. And we're gonna listen to an we might listen to another song after this one. So just a minute. Oh, oh, oh. 
Breakthrough. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
believes in a breakthrough right now. Clap your hands right now if you believe in a breakthrough. Um, now we are going into plus. Remember physical touch or physical touch is one way you can express your love towards God this week. Think about your body language as you worship and pray. physical expressions of worship, such as bowing your head, kneeling, raising your hands, clapping your hands, jumping, or dancing for joy. And you can write. You can think about it in your mind for a couple minutes. Examples of physical worship. I'll give you a couple minutes. Now I'm going to go on to question two. When something exciting happens in your life, how do you experience it? How do you physically express your emotion at a sport game? Like when you're like enjoying the game, or like when you're doing really good in the game, where you're like, woo, woo, go team, go. How does the way you act at these places compared to how you experience your love for God. Can I give you five seconds to think of that? One, two, three, four, five, the word of God speaks frequently about physical expression was a memorize Psalms ninety four six and think about what your body language communicates to God. Oh come, let us Worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord. So I'd like you this week to memorize that verse. And next week I will ask you about what the verse says. Everyone gives an example as love in many ways. Of the five love languages. Which one do you think is your number one way of giving and receiving love? A. Quality time. B, gift giving. C, acts of service. D, physical touch. 
E words of amalgamation. I'll give you five seconds to think of that. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'm just. Um. Now we're gonna go on to question five. Think about the people in your life, friends and family. What is their love language? Is it, it is different from yours? Try going out of your way to show them love in the, a way they can, they will best feel with you and express it. Just try to sit through real quick. So, um, we will be having the seven club meeting next time in person and we will be going I'll try and upload it on YouTube and Facebook, but we will be learning about, we'll be, the last two ones on love will be happening this upcoming Tuesday, and the Tuesday after that, love God by spending quality time with him, and love God with words of affection, and then next, and then we will be going into the fruit of the spirit, which is really good to go into. Um, there's a lot of important things to learn about the fruit and the spirit, and I hope you can join us to learn about those. Um, and don't forget to think about the way you express your love language when you worship and pray. Hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.